summer is here and the patriotic holidays are some of my favorite. Whether you're gathering with family and friends or you're doing something fun in the backyard, why not make a pinata? It's a fun game for the whole family. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a patriotic red, white, and blue popsicle pinata using Aline's quick dry tacky glue. I love this version of the Aline's Tacky Glue because it dries up to 50% faster, which is a huge game changer when you're making quick crafts like we are today. All right, all you need are a few household things to make this fun 4th of July game. In addition to the Aline's Quick Dry Tacky Glue, you're also going to need some clear packing tape, a scrap piece of cardboard, the size of the piece will depend on how big you want your popsicle pinata to be, you'll need a pencil, a scissor, you're going to need blue, red, and white tissue paper, and then you're also going to need poster board. I happen to have red, but you can really use any color because you're going to cover it up. All right, let's get started. Step one, you're gonna need to get that scrap piece of cardboard. I actually cut a flap off of a large box. That will work, it doesn't have to be pretty, and it doesn't matter if it has any logos or old shipping labels on it. What we're gonna do first is starting at the bottom, we are going to make a curved shape. And then before we cut it out, we're gonna swap it to the side and we're going to do a rounded popsicle stick right on top there. Next step, we're gonna use our scissor and we're gonna cut it out. Now here's where your poster board comes into play. You're going to need a piece of poster board. It does not matter what color it is. The poster board is going to be how we create the frame on our popsicle, but we need to decide how thick we want our popsicle to be. So I'm going to just make mine a few inches thick. And I'm gonna cut two of these strips equal in size that are going to form the border of my popsicle. Now that we've got our two strips, we're going to figure out how they're going to line up around our popsicle. We're gonna glue this around our popsicle, but we're also gonna need some supports. We're gonna take that extra poster board and we're gonna cut some thin strips. These are gonna be our connectors. We're gonna take our long piece of poster board and we're gonna take our connector pieces and we're gonna glue a few along our poster board. We're gonna use our quick dry tacky glue. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a few dots along here so I can add my supports. While the glue is getting tacky, we're going to create a fold at the end of each one of our supports. All right, for our next step, we're gonna put a small dab of tacky glue on the end of each one of our supports. We're also going to take our tacky glue and we're going to put some around the edge of our cardboard. Now we're gonna take our second strip of poster board and we're gonna do the exact same thing to finish out the shape of our popsicle. But we need to consider two things. We're going to create a trap door and then we're also going to need to cut a slit for our popsicle. You're gonna to wanna to take your actual popsicle stick, figure out the width of it, and then use your scissor to cut this line. You can slightly fold it in half And then you'll want to double check that you've cut it wide enough that your popsicle stick will fit through. Once you get to the end, you're going to have some extra, remember, so you want to go ahead and fold that end piece. It may help to fold it back first and then fold it forward so that it folds around. All right, before moving on, we're going to need a trap door to put our candy in. So I recommend picking a section, whether it's at the end or the bottom, I'm gonna actually just use this small little section right here. And I'm gonna just bend back my door just a smidge. We'll later on use our clear packing tape to secure it. Lay out your two to three sheets of tissue paper. You want it to be thick enough to where it's going to support the candy, but not too thick that you can't break through it. We're going to place our popsicle face down, and then we're going to wrap it like a present. We're gonna go ahead and put our popsicle stick in right now. You want your fringe to be about two inches thick. And we're going to cut 
slits, but we're not gonna go all the way through our fringe. The next step is going to be to glue each individual sheet of fringe around our popsicle. So we wanna start with one at a time. Now remember, we're going to need to do the top, the sides, and the bottom. But we're gonna start with the top and the sides and wrap around. So I'm gonna start with my first layer, and I'm gonna go red, white, blue. Now, you can either keep your pinata on a party table as decor and just fill it with candy for fun or leave it empty. Or if you do wanna hang it, you wanna take a piece of yarn, twine, or string and make a knot at the end. And then we're gonna use our glue to glue that to the back of our pinata. And now we can have some fun and stuff our pinata with candy. And once your pinata is filled, take a piece of clear packing tape to shut your trap door. How cute is our patriotic popsicle pinata? This is perfect for a summer party or 4th of July. And it was so easy using our quick dry Aline's tacky glue. I was so impressed by how quick it dried and how easy it was to create with it, especially using something delicate like tissue paper. All right, to find more great summer projects, make sure that you follow Aline's on social and check out their blog. And of course, you can always follow me at Craftbox Girls or over on craftboxgirls.com for more great projects using my favorite Aline's products. All right, that's all I've got for you today. Happy crafting!